you are where you are because of how you think. And if you were to change your thinking, you would change your world. Monday, I cry. Tuesday, I cry. Wednesday, I cry. Thursday, I cry. Friday, I cry. Saturday, I cry. Sunday, I cry. And that's why I'm here today. And listen to me, your problem is you're not crying. All right, so real quick, I brought uh, my man Toby up because he's closer to your age. Just got a degree. I brought CJ up because he's closer to you guys' age. And I remember like what Toby is doing, like, you know, the whole like, you know, being silly and all of that. I remember when I first started speaking, I used to do more of that kind of stuff. Uh, but like things have changed for me a little bit because I got a son who's a junior in college and my daughter's a senior in high school. And I'm just going to be real when I like on my way here as I was driving, I'm like, yo, this is I'm like, wow, like, I almost cried. I'm looking at the buildings and stuff on the way. I'm like, wow, you got to like, wow, this generation, like you got to go to school. Like, like you got to go through all that to get here. Like for real, I made sure what I went through in Detroit that my kids didn't go through that. Listen to me. I made up in my mind when I was in my 20s that my kids ain't going to go through what I went through. My father wasn't there for me and ain't nothing I could do about it. His father wasn't there. My grandfather was a high school dropout. My father was a high school dropout. I was a high school dropout. I said to myself, my kids will never go through what I went through. My son, listen to me, like, I'm from the D. My wife, my wife from the D. When, I don't even take my son the way I grew up. Like, I don't even know if I left my son, just left my man there, if he could hang. Like, he, he ain't never been through that before. My son went through high school, he's never had a fight a day in his life. I'm like, I'm looking at my son like, yo, this is crazy. Where I grew up, like, even if you didn't want to fight, you got to fight. I'm like, yo, I didn't even like fight and I had to fight. And so I put my son in a, pro, a school where he never had to go through that. Listen to what I'm telling you. I, I'm a high school dropout. So how did I go from a high school dropout to doing what I'm doing now? Number one, I got a why. I remember when I was going to school, like, for real, I hate school. Like I'm a grown man with a PhD and I hate school. So somebody say, if you hate school so much, why do you go? Because sometimes in life, you have to do what you don't like to do so you can live like you want to live. The first thing I had to do was say, I'm going to break the cycle. All right? I need you to think about this real quick. How many of you in this room, your mother, your grandmother, or somebody that you like, like you love, love, with all your heart, there's somebody in this room that you love. I need you to raise your hand for me. somebody you love. Look, hands down, we're gonna do it one more time. Look, I need, a, I need you to give me a huge face. Huge face, you're not talking to nobody. I need you to really think about what I'm saying. You got a mom in here who's working two jobs. You got a grandma that's still working, right? I need you to think about what I'm saying. Like, for real, I'm not, I'm not, I'm, I'm not playing now. And this is why I get so frustrated. Somebody's still talking, come on. Bro, I promise you, I love you, bro. Listen to me very closely. They pay me $50,000 to $100,000 when I speak to corporate America. I go to a basketball program, they pay me good. I ain't getting a dime here. I'm here because I love you. But I'll be darned if I come here for free and you disrespect me. I ain't 20 years old. I ain't 19 years old. I'm a grown man. I'm here because I love you. I'm here because I love y'all. They ain't pay me a dime. As a matter of fact, I came and used my influence to raise money so a group of kids can go to Costa Rica. I'm not here to get nothing. I'm here to give you something. I'm not here to take nothing from you. I'm here to give you something. And listen to me closely. When people love you, you don't do them like dirt. When people care for them, you don't disrespect them. You ain't got but a few people who care about you in this world. Didn't you hear what I just said? You in the wrong place. You gonna get shot and killed and ain't nobody gonna go to jail for it. Ain't nobody gonna go to jail for it. Ain't nobody gonna do no time for it. So the few people who you do have that care, you can't treat them like garbage. You can't disrespect the people that's trying to look out for you. Cause you ain't got a whole bunch of, you ain't got a lot of dudes, look me up. You ain't got a lot of dudes that do what I do that's coming to your school. No disrespect. The dude you listening to, you listening to my man and jamming to his album, he ain't coming here. And I just heard we had a rapper here last night. How many schools did he go to? How many elementary schools? He came and took your money, but he didn't invest nothing back into you. And you're going to have the nerve to laugh and joke when teachers trying to teach you? You got
got the nerve to, to act a fool when somebody cares about you? You talking while I'm talking? Do you know if I go to a Jewish school, them kids quiet? If I go to a white school, them kids quiet? If I go to a Latino school, they quiet? The only kids that disrespect me is black kids. That's it. My own are the only ones that disrespect me. I walk in any other school, they like, they go E.T. We taking notes. I come home. You talking. You capping jokes. You think something funny. Look how we living. Ain't nothing funny. Ain't nothing funny, y'all. They chip, look, when I got my PhD, what embarrassed me, I'm in there, they asking me, like, what's wrong with our urban school? Like, why are you asking me? I'm in class it's like you in class. Every, uh, the, print, the teachers want to know, professors want to know, well, why are your kids, what's the problem in the school system? I'm embarrassed, y'all. I'm a grown man. I'm embarrassed if they talk about y'all. And you know why I'm embarrassed? Because what they don't know is you ain't even trying when you take the test. You didn't give your best. They think you dumb. You ain't dumb. You can't take our people from Africa and put us in a diaspora and spread us all over the world and we survive slavery and we can't pass the test? Come on. I ain't stupid. You take everything from us and we still survive? And you gonna tell me we can't learn how to write? Have you lost your mind? We are survivors. That's all we do is survive. And you won't come and tell me you can't take a test. No, you can take the test. The problem is, when you take the test, you barely take the test. I challenge you to go in there and get that dog on a piece of paper and that pencil and do your best. I challenge you. I challenge you to go to class and act like you got some sick. Ain't nobody got to put you on medicine. You know how to sit down and shut up. You do it when you're watching videos. So listen to me, you mind. Despite that other voice telling me that I would never get a PhD, I did it anyway. Win, lose, or draw. But do me a favor, don't die not trying. You gotta feel me on this one.